Hi, my name is Juice, and I'm doing this video on behalf of the newbies that are new to the Save It video player. I've been using the video player for a little time now, and um, it is a little bit frustrating to get it to work the way that you want to. And I'm not a web designer, I'm just trying to maintain my own site. So like many of you, I just go on the internet to try to find the answers that I'm looking for. And uh, one of the questions that I had was to change the amount of videos that show on my uh, video list. And I found this thread on Joomlaholic on how to edit the main page theme. Now it says here that uh, to edit it, you need to go to this particular folder, which is a PHP folder, and it's located under the component, uh, under the classes folder. Now, one of the things I ran into trying to uh, do this without being a uh, web designer myself was I, I was looking for this particular code, control F, which is basically the control uh, heart key to, to start find uh, in a document. Uh, my, my document viewer didn't support that. Also, I looked for and step and um, this is actually supposed to be a dollar sign and it could be because of the keyboard uh, different languages may type something different. But this is basically what we're looking for uh, in this particular uh, folder. So I'm going to show you where that is now. Now keep in mind, here's, here's what it would normally look like uh, when you first install the latest version of Sayrit. It usually has a setting of 8, which means that you can only show 8 videos and then you'll have to scroll to the next pages to go to the next, uh, go to the next one. As you can see down here, um, it's doing exactly that and then whatever's the end of them. Now, I would like to have all of them on one page without having to scroll through that because that can get a little bit confusing for people that aren't familiar with it. So a way to do that, now keep in mind, um, this uh, the way that this is running, this particular website you're looking at is running on my computer. It's not on an FTP site. So I'm not going to be using an FTP program that you can use as a guide. I'm just going to use basic file folders on my computer and it'll work the same except when you're using an FTP, you may have to download the, the, the uh, document first and then edit it and then load it back into the FTP because it may not save your edits when you try to save. So just keep that in mind. Page. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the root directory of our website, uh, wherever that folder is on your FTP server. You must know where that is. Uh, this is basically all the files, uh, most of the files, or more or less, that you would find. And as you can see, we have Save It files here. But what we're looking for is component, because we're looking for we're looking for this address right here. Component Save It includes a classes folder. Okay. So we're going to go into components, and here's where the components are. We're going to go into the component Save It, and then we're going to go to includes classes and this is the this is the folder we're looking for video tools class now I have this in an editor um, and you could easily just open this up into a, a notepad program just as easily so I'm gonna open that up and we're gonna go up to the find and what we're gonna type in here is the uh, dollar sign and the word step and we hit OK Okay, the first one we have latest latest videos as you can see up here latest video list and it says um no it has the number eight i'm going to change that for myself to 30. and i don't know if there's a limit to that but i i suppose you can do 100 if you want now if you continue to use find uh you'll see that there's several areas where these are also altered so you ha have the highest uh rated video is another section that you can do this in and you keep clicking next next and here is the feature list so all of these are editable by just changing that number so i'm going to hit, hit save and i'm going to reduce that we don't need to see that anymore now i haven't refreshed my page so you see that we still have eight and the other ones i was talking about was most viewed highest rated which i didn't change those 
So in this case, we're going to hit uh, hit refresh. And as you can see, now I have way more than eight. I have all that I have actually, which is only 14. But if I had 30 videos on there, they would show all 30. And um, the most viewed, well, those aren't set up as columns or anything. But the most, if you go to most viewed, even though my columns here are just one, it only shows eight because I didn't change that. And um, I hope that helps.